Good afternoon, everybody. Um, and check in on Facebook, uh, Paul Hampton, uh, or uh, it's Paul Hampton Ministries on Facebook. Uh, YouTube is just Paul Hampton. Uh, I got a few words on my heart this morning. Uh, I'm going to read to you out of uh, Genesis chapter 22. And uh, it's talking about Abraham and Isaac. Very familiar uh, passage in the Bible. Uh, I want to go over a few things, and then I hope that uh, God will give me the words of encouragement. Whatever you're going through this morning, I um, hope that this will be a, an encouragement to you. The Bible says in chapter 22 of Genesis, it says, Now it came to pass that, that after these things God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He then said, Take now your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering, on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose up in the morning and saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son. And he split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and, and went to the place uh, which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar off. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. The lad and I will go yonder and worship, and we will come back to you. So Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and, and, and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and the two of them went together. But Isaac spoke to Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Here I am, my son. Then he said, Look, the fire and the wood, but where's the lamb for the burnt offering? And then Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for the burnt offering. So the two of them went together. Then they came to the place of which God had told him, and Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in order. And he bound Isaac, his son, and laid him upon the altar, upon the wood. I'm going to stop right there just for a minute this morning. Uh, the Bible says that God came to Abraham and told him that he was going to have to sacrifice his only son, a son that God had promised unto Abraham. You know, and, and I can only imagine the thought process that which was going through Abraham's mind when this happened. Abraham was told to slaughter his only son. And then the Bible goes from, uh, in, verse, uh, in verse 2, from God telling Abraham uh, to do this, to verse 3, there was no hesitation. From verse 2 to verse 3, uh, after hearing what God wanted him to do, he then loaded up the donkey, gathered the men, that gathered the, the boys, the men, that worked for him to help them along the journey. He gathered them up, their, their things that they would need, and they went to the place that God led him to go. The first thing we find that Abraham was obedient, first and foremost. The Bible says that obedience is better than sacrifice. First and foremost, we find that Abraham, no matter what, what he was going to have to do, was obedient to God. The Bible also says, says that he goes on, and, and, and he goes on here, and we were reading, he said, now that he came to the place, in verse 9, <coughs> oh, excuse me there, he said, they came to the place, in verse 9, which God had told him, and Abraham built an altar there, and he bound Isaac his son, and laid him down upon the altar. I want you to know this morning, I hope this is a word of encouragement to you this morning, you may be bound right now listening to this. There may be something that has you bound. Uh, it, it could be all sorts of things. It could be a, a, a bondage of, of sin. It could be a bondage of a broken heart. It could be a bondage of, of being hurt. you got a family member that has hurt you. Uh, words are, are, can be a, a dangerous thing. Um, they can be, a, the Bible calls them, they're like a, an open sepulcher. Uh, it's just grievous. It can be horrible. Uh, the tongue can be. Uh, you know, no matter what you're being faced with this morning, I just want this to be an encouragement to you that, that Abraham was obedient unto God. The Bible also says that, that Isaac was bound, just like you may be bound. The Bible tells us that Abraham laid his son down upon this altar. And then the Bible goes on and says, he said, uh, let me see if I find it right quick. He said, um, he said, the angel of the Lord in verse 11 uh, called out to, to Abraham. He said, from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. So he said, here I am. 
Verse 12, and he said, do not lay a hand on the lad or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and there beheld him was a ram caught in the thicket by its horns. Bible says in verse 14, and God called the name of this place, the Lord will provide. As it is said to the Lord this day, in the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. Now I want you to think about this this morning. No matter what you're faced with, your heart's broken, it's, your, your soul is vexed, you don't know which way to go, you've got things tugging on you, you've got... Uh, You've got things, family issues. You've got misbehaving children. You've got uh, uh, spouses that you're in arguments with and all of this stuff. First and foremost, the Bible says if we are obedient to him, that is better than sacrificing anything. Well, you know, uh, I just want to, to tell you this morning, if you will get in God's word and you will dig in God's word, you are obedient to God. He will show you what he wants in your life. He will open up doors and he will begin to lead you down a pathway, just like he did Abraham. Abraham couldn't see the outcome, but he knew what God told him to do. So he immediately packed up. The next morning, he packed up and began to do what God had showed him to do. Uh, no matter that he liked it, no matter how much his heart was broken, he knew that he needed to be obedient to God. I, I Abraham knew God was God. He was the most high God. He's the Almighty, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning of the end. We just keep going on and on and on. He is God. Abraham knew that. I'm, I'm sure the only thing that even makes sense to me, Abraham knew who God was. And he knew that if he went through and he, he was obedient to God's plan, there's not a doubt in my mind that he didn't think that God was going to raise his son Isaac from that altar to be whole again. Uh, that, that I believe with all my heart. He knew that by being obedient to God, amen, that God was going to take care of him. God was going to take care of his son. I want to tell you, you know, we're, you may be going through things. Uh, some of you may have lost lost children. Um, and, and, and God forbid, that is something that, that uh, no parent should ever have to go through. Um, that is, uh, it is just heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. But it is a comfort to know that these days are numbered. It's a short while here. I can remember back, uh, uh, I'm in my early 40s now, and I can remember back to when I first got married uh, 23 years ago. Um, I thought 40 was old. Um, I thought it was really old. Um, but as we find, as we grow and we grow and we grow and, and we have experiences and all these things, it just starts to run together and it just, and it just goes. And now, uh, now I find myself in my early forties and it's like, where did it go? It, it goes by so fast. These days, they just, they're numbered. They just fly by. Um, that's why God has a plan for your life. He don't want your life, your Christian walk to be in vain. He saved you for a purpose. He got you out of bed this morning for a purpose. There's something today that he wants you to do to uplift him and his glory and kingdom. When we get up in the morning, there is an agenda that should be on our heart is what does God want me to accomplish today for him? We need to be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I hope that that is a, a, an encouragement to you this morning. God will provide a lamb in your life, just like he did in Abraham's. God will provide a way of escape. If you're faced with temptation this morning, I want to tell you, uh, sexual sin is, is horrible. Uh, sexual sin is probably uh, one of the most addictive types of sin in the Bible. Uh, we find in the Bible that uh, Joseph actually he had to run from it. Uh, the Potiphar's wife grabbed a hold of him and wanted him to lay with her. And he knew how strong that that temptation was. 
He couldn't sit around and let the devil eat at him and eat at him and wear him down. He knew that. He couldn't sit around and do that. He knew that sexual sin was very, very strong. Therefore, when she she wanted him to, to lie with her, to lay with her, he knew he had to get out of there. And she grabbed a hold of him physically. He left his coat and ran. You may be faced with that this morning. Hey, it, you know, it, it may be through television, through the internet, uh, whatever you're faced with this morning in, in any type of temptations. Uh, God wants to break those chains. He wants to break that bondage. There is a way of escape. He is the, the way of escape. He will provide a lamb. He will provide a way of escape. I hope this song, uh, Beulah Land, is an encouragement to you this morning. I'm going I'm to try to sing it for you. A little crooked up. Oh, 